It honestly seems like every single month we have a new rapper, actor, or a family member of a celebrity coming out and exposing Hollywood for what it truly is. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This morning, I was literally just eating breakfast, enjoying myself, scrolling through Instagram and whatnot, and this video popped up on my YouTube suggested, okay? So I clicked on it just to hear what Bobby Smurda had to say, and six minutes into the video, he started speaking about how the industry is literally brainwashing the youth. Now, that's something that we already know about, but the way that he describes it is very interesting that I want you guys to hear. It almost reminded me of the video that we were listening to a while back with this music producer or someone who says that he's a former member of the music industry working with many different celebrities. And he comes out and he explains how these artists are literally just pawns to the industry. We're going to check this video after we hear what Bobby Shmurda has to say. Like I say, I like to hear what these artists themselves had to say. It's like a first-hand testimony. You can't claim that this is fake. It's coming from him himself. We're about to hop into this video. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe. But without further ado, man, let's hop right into this video. Like I did all the physical thing tests right now is concrete in my mind, behaviors, work, tasks, you like that. And as you continue to move forward and grow, you mentioned about music mm -hmm. and how it affects kids, children, the state of hip hop. You also mentioned, um, you know, not necessarily being as heavy into the hip hop space and you catch it when you catch um, it? Yeah, I'm not really heavy into the hip hop space right now. I make hip hop music, but the, the thing is, it's like, it's not viral no more to me. It's not real no more. Everybody's just talking about everything. You got like, like these good people, like I, wanna say, I would say good civilians, you know, they're rapping now, they got <laughs> tattoos, they put tattoos on their face. They put, um, they buy a million, couple million views and then now they're influencing these kids to make the kids think that this, this, and I got nephews, I got nieces. I, when I left, when I went to jail, they were young, they were five, six, now they're 12, 13, they're growing up into this music, they're listening to this music, and then half these guys, I'm like, no, they're not it. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> the shit that they talking about, they're influencing you guys to do and catch five years or 10 years after, you know, this and that. These guys are on yachts and doing this and that, but I'm gonna tell you that I'm on yachts and doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you the real shit. Right. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers on yachts getting, you know what I'm saying? The balls licked and shit like that. <laughs> These motherfuckers not in no drug spots and doing stuff like that, okay? <laughs> you need to stop listening to these guys and then they didn't kind of grow up like that neither, I feel. You know what I'm saying? It's like, even to hip hop nowadays, when I hear female rappers, right? I don't even listen to female rappers. They talking about shooting and drilling. I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit. It's bullshit. <laughs> Come on, yo. Come on. And I'm a person, I like real, authentic things. That's what makes my spirit jump. So it's not that I'm being disrespectful, it's just not for me. Right. That you know what I'm saying? Sense. I need something real that's, that, that's what makes me go. Because I'm like, yo, this is real, this really happened, this could really do and then he overcame this and this and this, this and that, so I can really catch a, like a, a spirit, I get energy off of it. Other shit, I'm like, man, this shit's some fucking boo boo clown shit. It just look good. <laughs> it sounds good. Get that shit out of here. You know what I'm <laughs> that shit off the block. Nigga, I'm from Brooklyn. You better take that shit off the block somewhere. <laughs> but the, the, but that, that's why it gets to you, because you done been out there. You done, you just said, I got out of jail. And now I've heard you talk about like, it. Before. Like, to me, the difference is nowadays, shit don't be viral, it be hacked. Mm. If you ask me, I'm like, these motherfuckers got to be paying for this shit because this is no way who the fuck is listening to this dumb shit. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> but you know the label, you know how this shit go. But you know, it's, 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 it's certain different things. You got authentic music, like back in the days. You got commercial music and you got authentic music. We listen to DMX and growing up in the streets. And it was so authentic that they had to take it and put it on the radios. Mm. You understand? Nowadays, they just be paying for all this other shit on the radio. They ain't trying to hear that shit. Can it be fixed? Now, I want y'all to pay attention to how he says, y'all know how the record labels go. And this is exactly why it made me think about this video right here, okay? I'm going to let him further explain exactly what Bobby Smurder was talking about, but I want y'all to be mindful of the fact that we speak about on this channel of how heavily influential music actually is. I want y'all to understand that the reason why these record labels even seek control is because they understand the level of influence that these celebrities and these songs and these movies and these cartoons have over generations. Not just the younger generation, but even the older generations. We understand what music can do to people, which is why they heavily push a certain movement in music or a certain movement in movies and cartoons because that's what they want the society to be geared towards. I'm going to let Robert Starbuck explain it way more in depth because he does have firsthand experience with this stuff. So let's get into this video right here, bro. For Migos died, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I have a unique experience in. So 
I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things, um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers, and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this. A bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? record executives, the record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex, period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people, but they're encouraging you to push it on yours and they're paying you handsomely to do it. The reality is I know a lot of you, a lot of you are good people. I want you to be mindful of the fact that they said that they are creating a culture. Do you think that it's innately in us to go out and kill someone? Like, do you think that it's innately in us to do some evil things? No, they are creating this culture. Very interesting, and they're getting paid handsomely to do so. Boy, your family, guys, you're not the image that you put out there to the world. Which is what Bobby was saying. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up, I challenge you, be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make those videos. Don't be sad. Don't rest in peace. None of that stuff. Be the change you want to see. Inspire it in your community. Reach out to other rappers and say, we have to stop. We're being used. You've been used for a long time, you know. They create this paradigm to make you believe that you're so important and your celebrity status is worth so much, but in truth, you're a pawn in their game and you always have been. The government has wanted to hold down communities of people in different ways through different methods for a very long time. Their method in the black community has been to use entertainment to create a culture obsessed with death, drugs, sex, and money so that they could create a false paradigm of what happiness and what success really was. Now listen, this is a little bit off topic, but I like the part that he just said, how they try to create ways to keep people down. Someone actually recently sent me a post about the homelessness, the rate of homelessness in California. And it was saying that the reason why there are so many homeless people is because they keep it that way. You always hear campaigns for, let's fight against homelessness, let's help clean up the streets. You always hear these campaigns. But understand that whenever you donate donate to these nonprofits or whenever these nonprofits get grants to actually help these homeless people, where do you think it goes? It goes to the pockets of the people who are organizing the nonprofit. We saw the same thing with Black Lives Matter. They don't actually want to help the homeless people the same way that they don't actually want to see our communities do better. They're literally orchestrating it to be a certain way because it benefits them. Monetarily, of course, but that's what they thrive for. They thrive for the power and they thrive for the money. And in doing so, they created a world that also made people more dependent on government and as a result, gave themselves more power. The record executives that push you to do this, to go and continue to profit off the backs of your work, they're in cahoots with the elite. Of course. They're in cahoots with the government. They want you to think you're important, but in truth, you're just doing their dirty work for them. So stop. They've empowered you in ways that are real. You have an audience, you have platforms, you have the ability to make change. So go against the grain together. They're more afraid of you all together standing up and creating a new culture that's built around family, faith, freedom, doing the right thing. The culture against the grain together platforms. You have the ability to make change. So go against the grain together. They're more afraid of you all together standing up and creating a new culture that's built around family, faith, freedom, doing the right thing. They're more scared of you standing up together and going against the grain, which is why we have this new agenda for the emasculation of men. Only strong men will do that. Only a person who is disciplined and well in tune with himself will do that. Not a person who's questioning every single day if he's a guy or a fucking girl, bro. That's a weak man. Someone who doesn't, who is not firm in his beliefs. That is a weak man. But a strong man who is firm in his beliefs will easily step up and go against the grain. And notice how everything that he said is the opposite of what they're trying to promote. He said family, friends, and faith. They literally promote 
Drugs, killing, and lust. The complete opposite. Killing against your family and friends. Lust, not like not having a family unit. Every single thing that he said, they're promoting the complete opposite. And all they have to do is stand up and go against it. Valuing life than they are of anything else. <clears throat> so I challenge you. Use your power to do the right things. If you continue to do the same thing you've done, more rappers like this are going to die. How many have to die before you change the culture? And let me tell you something else. There's a reason the record labels pay us more to do rap videos. They don't tell you that, do they? Do they tell you that they pay us more to do your videos? Because they do. They do it because they know it's more dangerous. They do it because they know it's more difficult. And they do it because, frankly, there's a lot of money laundering involved. Those labels wash a bunch of money through. We don't do it, but we know the labels are doing it 100%. Okay, they're then taking the money off the top end and you see on your royalty check, oh, they spent 150000 on this video. Did they? Because we didn't see 150000 Okay, so where did the money go? And to who? Their friend's company? A lot of times that's the case. Same thing with insurance companies. They charge us more to insure your videos. And it's because they know the culture that's been created. They know that the only possibility of a music video being shot up is on a rap video. <laughs> and that's the truth. So change the culture. Bro. You have the power. <clears throat> your people deserve it. Bro, that is so wicked. Like really, th like, really thinking about it. And it's the crazy thing about it. The crazy thing about it is... We have artists like Bobby Smyrna, and I'm proud of him for st for actually saying this. But we have our artists, rappers, L uh, Lil Baby, The Baby, all of these rappers who are aware of this, who know that this is going on. And then we have rappers like Kendrick Lamar, who hasn't made music in a very long time because he's consciously aware. Then we have artists like J. Cole, who hasn't made music in a very long time because he's consciously aware. It's like the rappers who know what's going on it almost feels like a level of responsibility. How could it not? Genuinely speaking, how could it not feel like a burden of responsibility when you know that you are literally influencing generations, when you are literally putting thoughts and planting seeds into people's subconscious and conscious mind through the words that you use? Like, I really want you to be aware of that, which is why I love making these videos, because you don't understand how many people have started to look at music differently or how many people have been in my DM sending me certain types of content and they're like, yo, you really opened up my eyes and now they're sending me this type of content. It's like, wow, I'm really starting to see the truth for what it really is. That's the type of, th those are the reasons why I make videos like this, bro. And on top of that, it's fun to expose these people because they are grimy. Hey, <laughs> hey. The only way, not all money is good money, bro. Not all, not all money is good money. I want you to understand that. Blood money is not good money. The same way you doing shit like this and causing future traumas is not a good way to earn money either. I really don't. I really don't agree with it. But I'm happy Bobby Smurder came out and exposed it for what it really is. Oh, it's too far gone now. Music too far gone now. Rap. Yo, listen, man. They got, I don't know what the fuck going on. Every time I go my play, I see girls talking about shooting every day. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, yeah, pop up on that bitch. What the? Ah, ah, ah. And when you see me in smoke, <laughs> that's the <a> fuck up. <laughs> nah, Shopify listen, man. This shit is too funny. If y'all want to watch the full interview, it's like, a, it's like an hour and a half, two hour video. Make sure you guys go check it out. I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all next one, man. Peace.